Hey everybody, Jeremy here. So today I got this massive figure right here. Now this is the Violator from the Spawn universe. This figure has been out for a while, but I finally decided to pick him up. Normal price on him is about 50 bucks. Fortunately, I had a coupon and there was a sale going on, so I was able to get him for less than that. And this is one of those mega figs that McFarlane Toys has released. So of course, he's the demonic form of the clown, which I also have and did a review on. I'll leave a link in a card so that you can check that out. And here's a closer look at the box. I like how they have the animated version of Violator right there on the side. There it is on the back. There's the other side. And there you go. He's got 22 um, moving parts, so 22 points of articulation. As you can see, he's massive and he's also pretty heavy. So I'm going to destroy this box, take out this figure, and uh, we're gonna see how he is. Oh boy, let me tell you guys, this figure is massive. I mean, he is just bulky everywhere. It's heavy, it is one thick, chunky piece of plastic. And it is very, very well done. The best thing about this figure, detail. The most surprising thing about this figure is articulation. You know, I can go on and on and on about the detail, you know, and just showing you every single aspect of it. I'm gonna roll a little bit of B-roll, some close-ups so that you can see the, uh, the amount of detail that was put into this scope. If you look on the back of them, you can see that really cool spine and all of the, all of the scaly bits that are all around Violator and just all the exposed bone, the spikes, just everything, everything is just done so, so good, you know, and if you really care more about sculpt and paint and detail more than you do about articulation, then this is definitely the type of figure that you'll be able to sink your teeth into. And also, it's also worth noting that there is a variant of this figure as well, and I believe it's a GameStop exclusive. It's a bloody version of a Violator. So still all the same basic everything, it's just the paint is done a little bit differently to show a little bit more blood. That one might be one that, uh, that you may consider getting. I think that the price is the same, um, but yeah, that one is available on GameStop.com right now if you wanna go pick that one up instead. But for this one that we have in front of us, whew, <laughs> it's just so well done, you know, and he's just so big. Also, he comes with a little base. There it is right there at the bottom. It's the same little base plate that we get with all of the McFarlane Toys figures, whether it comes from the Spawn line or the DC Multiverse line. It, they're all the same. It just has a different decal on it. But yeah, gush over the detail because that's the biggest aspect of this figure that is just really, really good. Now let's talk about the articulation because that is the most surprising aspect of this figure. As big as he is, you would think, you know, maybe just some arms up and down, maybe a little bit of twisting here and there, and that's it. But, you know, he's surprisingly nimble to be so darn big. So let's just start at the top with the mouth. Um, his jaw, it hinges up and down, and also let me just let you tell you so that you can know, uh, the articulation is also tight tighter in some areas than others. And the head and the jaw uh, region uh, is pretty tight. So yeah, you can move the jaw up, you know, so that you can have kind of like a closed mouth effect, or you can just move that jaw down to be, you know, wide open like that. And you can see how far down that jaw goes, it's almost touching his chest, so that's really cool. The head here, as you can probably see, there is a separation. There's a separation that would indicate that there is some um, head articulation. And it's there, but it's really, really tight, you know? And when it wants to fight me, I try not to force it without applying any kind of heat to it. But I have checked out some other reviews on this guy. And yes, the head does sort of move left and right, a little bit up, a little bit down but it's just really tight. So if you want to get that kind of motion, 
um, dunk his head in some hot water or use a hair dryer, heat it up, and then just kind of work it out a little bit more. Um, I don't think it's really going to be all that much of a difference, but you know, if that's what you want, you can try that and that'll give you that range of motion. Now, as for the arms, you see that it kind of butterflies in and out like that. I was surprised. I didn't think that it would do that, but yeah. Um, I'm going to do, you know, just one arm, you know, the, the other arm is going to be the same. So no need to do them both. And then as for the uh, elbow joint, even though uh, it's a single jointed elbow, but, you know, it still works. You can get it to go in about that much. That's good. He's got some rotation there on his wrist and then also it hinges up and down. And on this figure in particular, I was really pleasantly surprised that um, this part is not really stiff, but it's a very reassuring, uh, it's a really reassuring stiffness. You know, it's not troublesome, it's not bothersome, but it's just really affirmative. And you can do that with the wrist. Of course, the fingers are not articulated. These little spiky bits on him, you know, even though, you know, you can move them a little bit with, with your hands, they are still a little bit sharp. So something to keep in mind if you wanted to get this for a kid or whatever, and they just want to grab it, it is kind of pointy, so it can hurt a little bit. Maybe not to break the skin, but, you know, it still hurts a little bit. Um, for his waist, it rotates left and right. You can crunch them a little bit forward, but even more so backwards, you know? So it's a really surprising range for the crunch to go up and down like that. The legs were also kind of surprising to me because they can spread apart. You see, like kind of, kind of like that. They can spread apart. And then for the knees, Look how, look at that knee articulation for him. So this is just sort of all the way extended. You know, it's not going to be like a straight line, you know, because he's kind of buckled in his stance. Um, but that knee, when you do the knee, you can bring it all the way back to the point where it uh, just sort of meets the back thigh. And that was pretty surprising. Um, you can move it forward about that much. And then for the toe articulation, uh, it hinges up and down so you see we got that right there you can move that down on the foot so it's kind of two places here you got the you got the lower leg that you can bend and then you also have the foot that you can also bend sort of independently from that lower leg and then it also pivots you know so and this is a ratchet by the way so it's a ratcheted foot which is good because he's going to need to stand on a pretty solid and uh, pretty solid footing. It's not hard to stand him up on his own. You just kinda, you just kinda gotta get it in the right position. You may or may not find use for this stand. I had it in there for the purpose of this review, but you know, before you put him in your display, on your display, just really make sure that, you know, he's firmly on the ground because when he falls forward, if he falls forward, anything in front of him is just gonna is gone, you know, so be careful about that. Um, but yeah, this figure is really, really good, you know, and for the $50 price point, he sure as heck better be really, really good. Uh, these mega figs from McFarlane Toys, you know, they're, they're pretty pricey, so they demand that kind of quality to justify a price like this. And although I do think that $50 is still a little bit on the pricey side for a figure like this. I would have liked to have seen this have a standard price of uh, $40, no more than 45. I think 50 is definitely up there and it can't go any further than that. But for what it is, especially if you can get this on sale like I did, this is a really, really great figure to have. And uh, just to compare him to uh, some of the other spawn characters so just for comparison's sake this is violator and then over here is his uh his disguise form as the clown you know the guns you have to position them specifically so that they don't fall over i said that in the review that i did but this is just the size comparison between those two and then i have a mortal Kombat spawn that i'm just going to kind of wedge right there in the middle 
So you can see the size comparison between all of these guys and the scale that they are with each other. And if you get nothing else from this, it will be that Violator is huge. I mean, look at this guy. Spawn out in front, Violator in the back is a massive figure, you guys. He really is. But yeah, I know this figure is um, old by toy review standards. You know, it's been out for some months now. Um, but hey, it's new to me and it's new to somebody out there and with the holiday season rapidly approaching and the store shelves are getting better stocked now, I noticed. This is going to be something that definitely catches your eye in that really big uh, yellow dominating box. So if you got someone that you know on your list that's a fan of Spawn or just maybe a fan of huge figures in general, Violator may be one that is right up their alley because you're getting... Uh, a huge chunk of plastic for somewhat of a pricey um, cost, but it's still a really good figure. If nothing else, you won't regret buying him for what you get. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jeremy. Talk to you later.